to a new world of gods and monsters. Today on Outside the Box Reviews, we are taking a look at the Diamond Select, Universal Select, Bride of Frankenstein figure from the second wave of their Universal Monsters line. And wave two of the Universal Select line makes a heck of a lot more sense than the first one. Granted, I was totally on board. Wave one was Creature from the Black Lagoon, the Wolfman, and the Mummy. Two of those guys are some of my favorite Universal monsters, and I do love the Mummy as well. But Wave 2 is pure iconic. I already reviewed the Frankenstein monster when he came out, but in that same wave we got the Bride here, and we also got Dracula. And come on, when you think Universal monsters, it's Frankenstein, Dracula, and the Wolfman. And probably if you go one beyond that, it's going to be either the Mummy or... This girl right here, the Bride of Frankenstein, or the Bride, or whatever the heck you want to call it, because the naming is so random and strange. But this was the hardest one for me to actually pick up at a store. The other two, I just walked in, plunked down my cash, and I had my toy. This one, I actually had to go and reserve elsewhere at another Toys R Us and have them hold it for me. For whatever reason, she was just not as common to find on the shelves. But let's take a closer look. So just like any of these Universal Select figures, the Bride comes with her display base. And it's basically the lab, the bottom of the floor from Dr. Frankenstein and Dr. Pretorius's hangout. And it's pretty well detailed. I like the paint on it. Very much looks like weathered stone. You can see the single peg here to peg her foot into. And then we have these two large rods here that appear to be metal. They're obviously plastic, but they look metal. They have bandages wrapped around them and these little balls at the top with chains coming off. And there's not really a whole lot you could do. You could drape these over her. You can do kind of weird things with it. It kind of looks like they're supposed to be electrodes. So I actually put my Frankenstein monster table over top of this and had these kind of coming off to the side. Like you could chain the monster down to the table. But a nice enough display base. And here we have the bride. Uh, um, I guess she wasn't quite finished yet. So, just like the monster in the movie who's pulled together from parts of cadavers, this figure was a little some assembly required right out of the package because the very first thing that happened when I opened her up is her head popped off. This has been kind of a running thing with a lot of the Universal Select figures is that the joints just aren't that good. I've had several breakages with these figures and not from abuse or misuse or dropping them or anything like that, but just from trying to gently move the joint, a lot of them will just rip apart. I don't know exactly what happened to the head, but I know I've seen other reviewers having a similar problem, so I know I'm not alone here. My fix was simple enough. I put a magnet up there inside of her head, put a ball BB from a BB gun right up here on top of the neck with some three hour quick drying modeling substance I use for customs. Pops right on. It stays pretty well. You don't lose any articulation. The likeness to Elsa Lanchester is pretty good. There are some omissions to the makeup. She did have some additional scarring down the side of her head and things like that in the movie. That hasn't translated over to the figure, but overall it's a pretty good impression of the character. They went fairly subtle and simple with the makeup, which is good. Because they don't have a color reference to go off of for this, it's good that they didn't overdo it. My only real complaint is the way her mouth is slightly open. Kind of looks like she has some buck teeth in there. Of course, the most famous detail here is the hair, and it's well executed. The white streaks going through the black. You can see some mold lines here on the side, which are right about where those scars should be, but they're very clearly mold lines, and they don't look that great. Coming down her body, she has this soft rubber dress on that's molded permanently like this. It's a decent look. It's nothing spectacular. There's some decent paint application to it. The stitching going up the back here. One large downside with the figure is that this dress is actually too long for her. Her feet needed to be a little thicker or something because when the dress rests on the ground, it actually lifts way up off her shoulders here. And from the front, it looks just fine, but from any other angle, you can really tell how misproportioned this dress is. Now, I wonder if part of the reason the head was so fragile on these is because it was meant to be removed, because I would have to assume it was an intended feature, because if we pluck her head off, and her arms come off real easy, simple pegs, 
we can actually slide the dress off of her body. And for the sake of not being weird, we'll put the head and the arms back on. And here we have her in her full bandaged mode underneath the dress. Now when Sideshow did their smaller scale universal horror figures, they actually did the bride like this with a cloth dress. And that seems like it would have been a really cool way to go about it. I'm kind of interested in seeing that figure one day in person up close. But this isn't too bad. We had a little extra look at her neck there. She has just her whole body wrapped up. It's a very feminine form underneath all of those bandages. Maybe a little too accentuated. I can't imagine that, even though we didn't really see this on screen, I kind of wouldn't imagine this would fly back in 1935, but whatever. She has one of her feet permanently posed in this kind of upward walking motion. The other is flat. Not a ton of detail, but some decent paint and okay sculpt. And while we have her semi-undressed, we'll talk about the articulation because you can't get a lot of it under that dress. I'm going to have to assume that her head was on a ball joint like most of these figures. Obviously now I have it on my own ball joint, but definitely some range of motion would have been there, I assume, off the bat. The arms can only swivel forward and back because they're on that simple peg and they can rotate at the wrist, no elbow or anything like that. She can swivel at the waist here, and then her one leg has a swivel up here at the top. Beyond that, no other articulation on the figure, so very, very limited. And here we have the bride next to her intended mate, and these two are pretty well in scale with each other. And even though the Frankenstein monster we got in this wave is not based on Bride of Frankenstein look-wise, they still sit together as a very nice set. The fact that they both came out in the same wave makes a lot of sense because I think individually she probably wouldn't have been much of a seller at all. I think having a solid Frankenstein monster figure in the wave really helped her. But overall, I want to recommend her, but I can't. There's just way too much flawed with this figure. She breaks way too easily. She doesn't have a lot of articulation. The dress doesn't sound right. I like her. I really do like this figure personally, but I just can't find any real redeeming qualities in her now that I'm actually reviewing her. But if you're a huge fan of Bride of Frankenstein like I am, you'll definitely want to pick this one up just to have in your collection because she's an iconic universal monster. And I know I'm not alone in thinking that Bride of Frankenstein is one of the best universal horror movies ever. Heck, I'd go and put it up one of my favorite movies of all time. Make sure you check out Outside the Box Reviews on Facebook. There'll be a link below. Also check out Outside the Box Reviews on Instagram. Username Outside the Box Reviews. And until next time, this has been another Outside the Box Reviews. We belong dead. Crap. Just started and I already don't remember what the quote I wanted to use. Awesome. Quote, quote, quotes. Is it Lanchester or Lancaster? Oh, this is going to take so long because I keep getting distracted. Lanchester.